Hello, my name is Cindy and welcome to my classroom. This video is all about my simple classroom setup. And this is a GoGo Kid brand contributor video. Teaching online and being a virtual teacher is a very unique and special experience. When I first started, I thought that putting up a background and getting my virtual classroom ready was very complicated and strange. But after four years of working online, I have realized it can be very simple. And I hope that by watching this video, you will get some ideas and tips to start your virtual journey and to make your simple classroom setup. First of all, you are going to need a computer. So if you have a Mac, you are going to need at least a 10.0 operating system or higher. For other types of computers, you will need a Windows 7, 8, or 10 or higher operating system. And you're also going to need at least eight gigabytes of RAM and at least an i5 Intel processor. You cannot teach from an iPad for GoGo Kid. You can teach from some Chromebooks. So check out your device and make sure it works for the GoGo Kid program. You will also need Wi-Fi. So you can connect the Wi-Fi with an Ethernet cable to your computer and your lighting system can be just lamps from Walmart. You can set them up like one on each side and that can be a good way to start. That's how I got started. And there are, other, there are many different types of lighting that you can purchase as you go along. For the headset, just make sure it's a headset that is compatible with your computer. The next step is going to be a background. Now this background is a tapestry with a pattern already on it. You could use posters. You could have a painted wall and just put a few pictures up there. The other thing you might want is a name tag with your name and your show letters after it so that your students can see your official name for GoGo -Go Kid. The other thing you might need is a comfortable chair. I have a stool and the stool's a little higher than a regular chair so that I can stand when I want to stand, but I can also sit and I can stand and I can switch from standing to sitting throughout my class or in between classes. My table is a little bit raised. I have a raised table and underneath my computer, I have a set of drawers with some of my props in them. Now the set of drawers kind of does two things. It puts my computer a little higher so that I can stand up while I'm teaching. And it also has my props in it so that I can have easy access to my props. I can open and close these drawers right here and I can grab things out at any time. This is my kazoo. This is a great prop. I also have some drawers next to me and these drawers also have more props like in categories. I have one drawer with food in it. I have one drawer with rewards and various props that I have printed out and laminated and some other things <laughs> that are in those drawers. You will want to start out with a few secondary rewards. Those secondary rewards can be something that you use the same ones over and over. You can use, you can kind of work on your collection as you go along, maybe daily or weekly, make some rewards. Sometimes I'll use the same reward every for every class in a day or even every class in a week. You don't have to switch out your rewards because you will have new students with every class. So it's up to you how you wanna handle that. Some, some teachers have a few rewards and they use them over and over, and some teachers never use the same reward twice. So that part is up to you. I would also recommend that you would have a whiteboard 
with a whiteboard marker. This can be used for while you're teaching the class. It can also use, be used for rewards and many other things during your class. Something that you should keep in mind is that having a backup for your internet will be very helpful. For example, I use my Wi-Fi in my home for most of my classes. But as you know, every now and then the Wi-Fi goes out and it would be handy to have another way to get online. I have a hotspot on my phone, so it's already, I already have the password in there. All I have to do is switch from regular Wi-Fi to the hotspot to my phone and I can switch the internet within less than a minute. So this will come in handy if something happens with your internet while you're teaching. You also might want to be prepared for a power outage. So not only do you need an internet, but maybe have extra flashlights or lighting that you can use that is battery operated and things like that. Getting started with the basics is very easy. So you get your computer, you get a few lamps, you get a few props, and of course your Wi-Fi is all hooked up. As you go along, you will kind of learn new things. You can learn from other teachers, you can join some Facebook groups, go to YouTube and watch all the videos, and also go to the workshops, the videos in the GoGo Kid portal. And as you learn new things, you will be able to add to your classroom and make it unique to you. I would just like to encourage you to learn from others and grow into your own personal teaching style. It's a lot of fun and it's very simple. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to message me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.